What's up, everybody? This is Easy Easy Street Gaming, bringing you Easy's order of upgrades. We're gonna go over the top ten. What I upgrade first? Follow along if you want. This is pretty much what I think everyone should do if you're building troops. There, there are different ways to build your base. Some people build their base where it's only uh, uh, resource producers. Yeah, two disclaimers in the beginning. Starting off strong. <laughs> So if you're going to build your base and you're going to try to build up troops and you're going to try to just do a roundabout type of thing. I have a feeling it's going to interrupt me a lot. Then this is what I think you should do. We're going to count down from 10. So this is not number one. So number 10. This is the divination. I think I said that right. I don't really even know. This is where you spend your turtles. Now, I'm thinking about this and... Keep in mind, we're going backwards from 10. I don't know if this makes any sense or not. But this is the 10th most important thing to upgrade. <laughs> I guess I'll just go over why. The more turtles you have, the the higher level your divination is. Uh, divination. I don't even know how to say this. Someone please uh, send me a <laughs> verbal on this. Damn. The more turtles you have, the better. That the higher level you get on the divination, divination, the more free turtles they give you. Therefore, the more uh, free spins you get. So the more, the more the better. Number nine is the warehouse. The reason why these are kind of nine and ten is because they're not 100% mandatory. You can d get by if they're not the same level as your stronghold. But you'll see here, the lower level your warehouse, your warehouse is, the less it protects. It, you know. You don't even start protecting man until really really high level So I think more even than than focusing on the upgrading of the warehouse is to focus on understanding exactly what it protects how much it protects Because when you're getting ready to dump off troops and hide troops because remember guys you're gonna hide troops often in this game That's a habit you got to get into hide troops and hide resources you don't want to have to just give 100% away to your clan mates. You just give away whatever you're not protecting. You find out what you're protecting by looking in the warehouse. Number eight, the, the Hall of War. Hall of War is where you can build up your rally and your rally capacity will grow. Now, if you don't have a very high rally capacity, that means you're probably going to have to join rallies instead of lead them. That means that your points in Barbarian War won't be quite as much as the person leading the war or leading the rally. Now, the, the Hall of War is difficult to get because you need skull piles to get it, and this is a gem item. You can get the skull piles whenever the, the guy comes by and visits you, whatever his name is. Uh, you know how I am with precise information you have uh, I'll tell you when I see it again pausing uh, theatrical pause for the countdown <laughs> I'll get back to that in a minute so anyway next is and this is actually the next two are really important this is the, the war hut the war hut is difficult because there's several of them there's five of them so you see here at level 8 it gives you 110 capacity and that's how many you can build at one time how many troops you can build in one time you see you have three different huts so you have a 110 from each of the five so that's 500 and something in each and then you have three of them so you have 1500 troops at one time then the hospital capacity goes right hand in hand with the the, the war capacity this is i believe even more important because if you don't have this up with even with your stronghold level then every time you get attacked your your troops are dying there's a lot of good players that don't build up their army any higher than their hospital capacity or any higher than their hospital capacity plus one march so they can go and send one fake rally eight hour rally and then even if they get attacked and everything else goes to the hospital and they're not getting killed so if they lose power they get it right back number five is the adventure portal this is really big for players that are not don't have t4 yet once you have once you have t4 the adventure portals become a little less important 
just because you don't have to you're, you're not no longer focusing on your heroes quite as much you're focusing more on the troops but until then you really have to put a lot of emphasis on your heroes remember it's not just in the adventure portal and not just the rallies and not just the ranked matches they're also leading all of your marches so you want to get familiar with all of your heroes and you want to be able to use your heroes to lead your marches to victory Next, number four, we're getting close to the end. This is not going to be a very long video, like 10 minutes. The Old Bald Smithy. Now, that's the Baldy Pond, also referred to as a Baldy Pond. This is something that I've suggested in many videos in the past. You want to rush to get this to level 11. Once you get it to level 11, you, you've already got the, uh, the, the Golden Turtle. Uh, I think it's at like level 5, which is important. But much more important is the Green Demon Killer. The Green Demon Killer is, in my opinion, the, the best hero that you can get without any kind of luck involved. You can buy it at the Baldy Pond at level 11. So get it to level 11 as soon as possible. Get that Green Demon Killer on the field. Try to get it to level 35 ASAP. Number three, we're getting to the, to the, to the big things. All of these things should be even with your Stronghold every single level. Don't, don't move your Stronghold to level 14 if you're still at level 10 in the Horner defense. This is how many reinforcements can come into your base. If you can't, if you don't have a lot of reinforcements, if you don't have a large capacity for your reinforcements, then they don't need to rally attack you. Because let's say you have 300,000 troops and their marches are 500,000. Well, they don't even need to, they don't even need reinforcements. They don't even need to rally you to, to beat you down. So you definitely want to get your rallies up uh, your your help up as much as possible now because I can't count we have a B <laughs> and this is the help wagon the help wagon is vital this is what this is the amount that you're allowed to donate to your clan mates remember the higher the help the higher level of help wagon the less percentage you lose when you donate and once you get to level 20 you can actually donate straight from your storages right right from wherever if you buy packs you can donate your packs Instead of having to go farm it up and then donate it. Number two is the outpost, outpost portal. This is sometimes the first thing that I'll upgrade. Some, usually the second thing. Um, always in the top two. Every single time you upgrade the outpo, out, outpost portal. Your march capacity gets raised. That means that you can take on bigger monsters. You can take on bigger opponents. The bigger march the stronger you are. So you want your outpost portal up as soon as possible. And number one, and this is no surprise to anybody, is the Temple of Wisdom. Temple of Wisdom is where you will upgrade your troops, where you'll upgrade your your um, your resource, the, the ability to produce more resources, the ability to collect more resources. This basically advances every single part of your base in one way or another. So you want your Temple of Wisdom to be even with your Stronghold right from the very beginning. It, sh it should be the very first thing that you upgrade. Maybe the second thing you upgrade. Don't look at mine being one below my Outpost Portal. I, I, just, <laughs> I switched and I did the Outpost, outpost Portal first. And I did the... I'm, I'm doing the Temple right now. And also this is my fourth account. So that's why I'm at level 10. I'm not actually... I don't actually have a YouTube channel. And I'm at level 10 on my... <laughs> Stronghold. So, rewind, and you have my order of upgrades. I started off at ten, ended up at one, but really, number one, I'm going through. I don't even know what I, what I had in mind. I'm, I'm showing you uh, all the different things that are in the Temple of Wisdom, as if you don't know. But remember, this is how you get T2 troops, which is tier two, uh, T2, T3, T4. Something that I, I want you guys to remember, though. There's a big jump between T3 and T4. If you think it took a long time to get T3, which it does, a T4 is literally five times as long, and T5 is ten times as long as T4. But don't forget that if, in order to get T4s, you have to get up to level 11 on your warrior health. In order to get level 11 on warrior health, you have to get level 11 on warrior defense. In order to get a level 11 on warrior defense, you have to get to level 11 on troop defense. That's what everyone skips over. Everyone's on like level 3 on troop defense. And you don't have to really upgrade them until you get to level 10. And then at level 10, it says, hey, you need level 11 from the last one. And you have to go all the way back to troop defense to get level 11. It's a real big pain in the ass. So just get it right from the beginning. <laughs> So, hope you enjoyed the video. I can't thank everyone enough. I've got so many subscribers. I, d I don't know what to do with y'all. So, I, I really appreciate it. 
Uh, keep on watching. I'm going to keep on making them. So until next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.